So you can see I've started my sheet metal model here. I've got my faces in there and I realized that I really could use a cut that goes all the way from here all the way around. But I know the measurements that I want in the flat pattern. So I really like to apply that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a sketch on this face here. And there's actually a projection tool called Project Flat Pattern. So I can go to my project geometry and I can go to the drop down here and I can actually project the flat pattern. So what I can do is I'd really like to project that face. I'd really like to project that face. I'd really like to project that face. And if I wanted to, I could keep going and actually pick the ham face as well. But now I've got this geometry, associative geometry. So as my model changes, this geometry will change with it. So I'm gonna drop in a two point rectangle because I know what I want that to be. And I'm also gonna create a circle because I know I want a circle to go right onto that bend line. So we're gonna create a, a 1.5 uh, diameter circle right at that point. So I know that I want this rectangle, this cut, I wanna make sure it doesn't interfere with that hem. So I'm gonna go two inches from, from there. I guess that's a bit big, let's go one inch. And I know that I want the overall length of this to be 14 inches. So I've gone through and made my, my changes to that. So now what I can do is I can use my, my cut feature. So I know I want that and I want that. And I wanna cut this across the bend and notice how it is smart enough to wrap that around. So I'll click OK and we can see how it's positioned that into my model. Now if I go and I create my flat pattern from this and I go in there now and I actually measure the distance on that. So let's do a, let's go to our inspect and let's pick distance here. If I pick distance, notice it is 14 inches. And if I was to measure that, we should see that this is actually one inch as well. Although I don't know what I picked there, but I might've got the wrong edge, but we can see that it is honoring that, that distance that I put in there. Now that's the project flat pattern. It's, it's kind of a neat feature because you know it's a sketch level feature. It is associative, um, so it works really well. Now let's just grab the end of part marker here and let's just, just pull this above. There are some other options for doing that, especially when you got kind of more complex things that you want to do. And that would be the unfold and refold tool. Now I can pick unfold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this outside face here as my stationary reference. And I'm going to say I really want it to unfold that. And I really, um, you know, maybe I want to come in and I want to unfold something else in here. But I'm okay with just this one feature for right now because I just want to show how this works. And notice how it's, it's actually added a feature into the tree. So there's actually an unfold feature. So now I can do the, kind of the same thing here. So let's, let's create a sketch on this face here. Let's create a rectangle in there. Looks good. Let's actually do a cut. So we'll create a cut here to cut through the model. Um, so we'll actually just cut normal on that. We'll click OK and let's cut that out. Now what I could do is I can come in here and I could do a refold. So I can come in here and say, okay, there's my stationary face. There's the face that I want to rebend. And again, we can see that this is going to rebend it. Now notice I could actually bend some sketches in there as well if I wanted to lay some sketches, but this is, this is good for this. So I can click okay. And now that cut is being made part of that because notice that there is a unfold feature and there is a refold feature. Now let's just undo that because there is a shortcut. So I might have done multiple bends and multiple features. You know, maybe I came in here and decided to do some corner rounds here in the, in the corners, and I'm gonna click OK. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click on the unfold feature and do a refold, and notice that it's accomplished the same thing. It's just that it knows where the stationary face is, you know, which bend, and it just applies it for you. Now, this feature really doesn't have any limits. So I am going to do an unfold. Here's my stationary face. There's my stationary face. It's This is the, the roll that I want to unroll. And I'm gonna click OK and notice how it has gone in there and actually flatten it out for me. Now what I'm gonna do is up here is I'm gonna create a sketch and I'm gonna place in a point. So let's do a point in there. And I'm going to drop in a punch tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in the keyhole. So I'm gonna click open. We can see it's put the keyhole in there. Let's go to the geometry. Let's go to the size here. Let's see what size options we got. Let's go with 0.5 to make this a little bit bigger. Let's do a hole diameter of one. And let's do a length here of, of two is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna click finish and notice how it's dropped that keyway in there. So 
you know, the way that it was rolled out before, there was no way for me to put that key wig in there. There's no face or anything to, to sketch on. So I've now dropped in that shape. I'm gonna right click on here. I'm gonna do a refold feature. And now notice that that key wig is now part of that deformation. Now, I know it's not the, the most realistic example, but I did it to show how you can incorporate those features. So if I go to the flat pattern now, we can see that we've got that perfect keyway and in the folded model it's been used to incorporate in there. So again, you've got your project flat pattern and you also have got your unfold and refold features to work with kind of the, the flat pattern and the folded model to get together.